Hold up. There we go. what's up it is your girl Ling and I am back with another video today we're gonna be doing a simple daily makeup routine just because I have to go to work later what I always start with first is moisturizer I ain't got no moisturizer but you know whatever this moisturizer is one of my to go to it is by Dermalogica's they're active moist Especially if I am too lazy to put on um, anything else, this is my to go to. What I like to do next is use the Lana Lips. Now, this is amazing. I like to use it like in the creases of my nails right here, especially when it cracks, or I like to just put it on here. Because we know how are dehydrated these days. And right before we're priming our face for our foundation, I like to go in and really fix my eyebrows. Also amazing. This is also my to-go to, especially for my brows. Amazing. I like to just set this on. I do feel like they're not even cousins. There we go. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Smooth and Blur the Photo Finish. This one, it feels like velvet. It feels so nice. It is also my to go to because it's the only one I have. So basically, I need to buy more primer. And then I'm just really going to prime my face. My face hasn't been the greatest. Ugh. You see like all these marks right here? You see like all these pimples right here and it's like all right here. You don't even know. The next step that I like to go into is the Pro Long Wear um, Paint Pond by MAC. dig it in and I like to just put this all over my eyelids sometimes I even wear this as eyeshadow because it has like this gold color to it I like to do next is use a Too Faced 3 in 1 hangover primer prep and prime give you hands and a heart to it is a replenishing primer and a finishing spray, which I do love about that. Honestly, I don't know if it actually works on priming. And not to mention, I do like the alcohol-free. At most setting sprays, you can definitely feel the alcohol and it really dries your face. For instance, Lancome and Urban Decay, they do have alcohol in there, but they do what they're meant to be they really set your face because you know alcohol dries your face for me i feel like alcohol it really affects my skincare as well and so that's why my skin is also so dry and because you know dehydration and diet and all that if you guys are wondering i'm still watching my chinese drama so if i keep looking you know that way I'm, I'm watching my movies, so. Right, and next step, I like to really go into my eyebrow. I like to go in the Anastasia's. This is my to go to gel. I would choose this Anastasia's over anything, any day. And then I'm going to be using the brush. I have no idea what this is called. It Spectrum A17. Whatever. Um, it is so cute. Let me show you guys. So I got my brush uh, by Spectrum. If you guys don't know Spectrum's collections, they do collections of, oh my god. Like, they are a vegan brand, which I do love. You can definitely feel the difference between vegan 
brushes compared to synthetic brushes. The bristles of the synthetic ones might be a lot better. However, the feel of vegan brand brushes, it feels so nice on your face. But this is the collection that I got. If you guys follow Ling's, I'll link down her Instagram page down there. Um, not me, but Ling herself. And if you guys follow her on Instagram or YouTube, she is amazing. Yeah, yeah this is really cute. And when you open it up, there was like all of these like brushes that were like stuck in here, but you know, they're dirty right now. So I haven't even taken the tag off. <laughs> What was I doing? Oh, my brows. Yes. She's a life ruiner. She's pretty dirty though, but because I used it yesterday, because I want to work yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just kind of gliding onto this gel. I'll show you guys how I do my eyebrows. It takes me like 45 minutes. Well, depending on what day it is, because like. You know, because like... <laughs> this is my absolutely friend. When I found out that they had a Craigslist one, I was like, yes, bitch. I really like to just snap that on my hand as a palette sometimes I will really spot conceal spot conceal spot conceal because we need to spot conceal my face I don't really speak like that what the hell Anyway, so my eyebrows are pretty natural. Really for our daily routine, I go pretty, pretty dark. You guys don't know how long it takes me to do clean up. Oh, don't get me started on my freaking hair. Yes, boo. Yes. My Paula right there. Yes, boo, do your thing. Um, funny story, it was actually for my boyfriend. He was in the military and he always say we miss you, miss each other so much. So I got him that pillow. Uh, it was like probably like 20, 20 bucks for that thing. He said it scares him when he sleeps at night. It just sits in his room. He doesn't even touch it. What I go do is I like to use my sponge. I like to use uh, the Mario Badescu. Uh, it's not my favorite. I do like the smell over the rose because I hate the smell of rose. Kind of make me think of death. Yeah. So this lavender smell, I do prefer this a lot over than any of theirs. I do like their green cucumber. I, I love cucumbers. Anyways, so what I do is, you know, uh, and you know, kind of plump that out and really beat my face. I don't really color correct just because that's an extra step for me. And also because I'm lazy. Sorry guys, camera died. What was I doing? Oh yeah. Honestly, I don't even know if my brows are even. Yes, habu. So I used the palette, the Jaclyn Hill, and I think I've had this for like <laughs> a year. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Please send me money to buy brushes. Thank you. With this, I like to go in with this right here. And now I really like to just go in there. Yeah. Go over the crease. And we blend it and that way, you know, it doesn't look like you have streaks everywhere. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. But I don't know, I've always just really liked orange as my base. I don't know why, I just don't know why. My hair is pretty lighter, it kind of stay away from using the orange because I don't want to look orange. And then next, I'm gonna go in with this shade. I have no idea what that is called, but yeah, that shade. And 
then instead of doing the crease, you want to do inside the crease. Yep, same brush. Okay, and then I'm going to go into my brown. Not stroke, but just kind of beat it. Literally beat it. Once I beat it, I like to just kind of brush it towards my inner corner. And I really want to go into that darker color. And then I like to use this color right here with my fingers and really just go in there. Afterwards, I love this eyeliner. You guys don't know how hard it is just to find an eyeliner. This Benefit Roller Liner is amazing because right when I put it on, it dried. And I love the tip of it because it's felt. Oh, but for you guys, I'm going to be doing how I do on my eyeliners. I don't know how y'all do with my eyeliners, but... Yeah, it's very... just very. <laughs> Next thing I do is I use the Essence Lash Princess. I do like it. I don't think it's the best, but I do love the fact that it doesn't clump on me, especially for this one like this. Just put my foundation on. Now this is the Anastasia's foundation. One, two, and three. After putting on my foundation, I like to use the Benefits Cheerleader Bronzing Squad. Ah! I'm not really a fan of their whole look bronzer. Um, I prefer Too Faced bronzer over Benefits. I like to go in with um, Spectrum's A07 contouring brush, angle brush, and it is called You're Like Really Pretty. And make me a line. Make me skinny. Contour. My ugly face. And yeah, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. I like to blend it in with my, towards my hairline. Why? Because I got a big forehead, y'all just don't know. And then I like to go in with a brush and just kind of blend it out. Got just one life, baby. So then I like to go in with the loose setting powder in vanilla. And we're already using their foundation, we're already using their brows. Why not use your last pad loose powder? And because you get so much, and this thing can probably last me like five years. Um, I don't really bake that much. the brush Morphe 536 so after I am done doing my face right here I like to go in with this BH cosmetic fluffy brush fluff it out line and tone down that contour as well and then I will go in and contour out I'm gonna go in with gold rush and what I'm gonna do is just kind of tap it on. You don't want to brush it. You want it to look as natural as possible, or I want it to look as natural as possible. And there you go. And then I'm gonna go in with this Spectrum A10 fan brush, and then I'm gonna use the cookie highlighter in my cheerleading pouncer palette, and. I'll Right here as well, and my cupid's bow. 
lastly, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so that's my natural everyday. I know you feel like you want me, and I guess in a way you do. All of my breath, all reveling emotions. I need some space to think this through. Call me on now. Okay guys, so this is my uh, finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked and you guys want to see some more random vlogs, then subscribe, give me a thumbs up on this video, and comment down below what you guys would like to see more of. Alright, thank you. Don't forget to say bye. Bye.